Is Chizzy hitting the fizzy again in Greece in Santorini, guys? It's a year ago that we had that bad, bad crisis at Santorini, the Instagram island, famous tourist destination. We had these massive, massive earthquake swarms. It was lasting for over five weeks, but that wasn't the major threat. They evacuated the island in fear of a magnitude seven plus earthquake that they already had there, but the danger was lurking deep. Santorini is a caldera and there's a magma chamber underneath that was showing filling up, signs of filling up and land rise and it was we know that now i've said it from the beginning it was a magmatic intrusion it was getting close to eruption the earthquake swarm was traveling and now is it repeating is it repeating we just had a magnitude 3.8 at the same place where it started last year and we have already earthquakes along that area let's have a look guys it's baffling and could you do me a favor before we start can you give this video an early like and hype doesn't cost you anything but it helps my channel thank you so much let's start so let's zoom in here to the map you see where santorini is and you already see that large green dot so what we see here that's the caldera and then you see the other dots here there's also earthquakes what happened last year the earthquake started here also here there is the magma chamber right underneath the collapsed volcano it's a caldera a massive caldera only a little bit of it sticks out and that is what we see of santorini today that's the instagram island i bet many tourists don't know that so what happened last year and we have oh, it always um refreshes the Colombo underwater volcano, the earthquakes were starting here and then they were traveling along fault lines that were probably also lubricated through the shaking and that were also triggered massive earthquake, earthquake swarm traveling into this area, probably following the magma intrusion coming from the magma chamber underneath the Santorini volcano, a dangerous volcano and then traveling here. So now let's look at this. We have a 3.8 at four kilometers depth, roughly 2.7 miles. And also another bigger one, and this is all, the new year starts with this, January 12th, 2.1. So 3.8 is a significant number for that. that that's why I said, is Shizzy hitting the fizzy again? Should we worry about that? Because is this the repeat? It could be, guys. This is a noticeable earthquake. And we also got reports people felt it on the island. And of course, that created panic. They felt it quite strongly. It caused a, it was short, but very intense jolt that happened when the earthquake hit. And of course, residents were reminded of this intense earthquake swarm that happened last year with the fear of bigger ones, with the fear of magmatic eruption or worse or both with tsunami. So similar events that were spreading. Will this be the start of another massive magmatic intrusion? Will it migrate again from Santorini towards the submarine volcano Colombo and then from Colombo towards the small island of Anudros. Colombo is showing signs of unrest. They have now placed more measuring stations at that underwater volcano because it shows some swelling up as well. Um, surprisingly, we don't hear so much what they're actually finding. And we know they don't want to poke the needle into the butt of the bear, so to speak, because this is their biggest moneymaker, Santorini. It's their biggest moneymaker. The cruise ships stop there. Millions of tourists are seeing the island. And I want to show you these images. We've had some landslides last year because of the shaking. And if you build pools and hotels into these cliffs, which are not really hard rock, it's volcanic ash and lava. That's what this was built on. It's a crater. It has a great instability. And many, we found that out during last year's crisis. 
many of these hotels and pools and bed and breakfasts are built not to coats. There are some illegal buildings and especially the pools with so much weight and water. Through the shaking, the water moves very, very risky. And you see on these images, they show slopes of instabilities. They show endangered areas. And that's the beauty, right? People go, oh, like I'm swimming on the cliff. Yeah, you're swimming until you're sliding. It's very, very dangerous. So if you plan to go there, educate yourself where your hotel is or take a step back, um, not right on the cliff. They found the foundations were not built correctly, not built into the cliff far enough to hold enough stability. Scientists were raising the flag. They were like having a, a building boom because everyone wanted a piece of the pie, right? It created a lot of um, unrest amongst the residents because they said we're losing our island. It's, it's too crowded, too many tourists. So last year's magma intrusions, yes, they were accompanied by land rise, ground deformation, and um, an underwater volcanic eruption was probably imminent. And then it just didn't make it to the surface. We've seen this in Iceland. It started with a large magma intrusion, but after that, the next one was an eruption. So we cannot rule this out. So if the current earthquake has a similar cause like the events last year, it's uncertain right now. We can only observe but it's definitely something that strikes us that all over of a sudden this is happening um, again. So let's hope that this remains an isolated earthquake. But we already see the 2.1 on the other end. Um, hopefully it's just tectonic. There's a lot going on tectonically. There's a lot of smaller faults that, that always could do something. Um, but it cannot be ruled out to make that clear that renewed magma movements are on the way here at Santorini and they will hate that because now it's also tourist season hasn't started yet but when it comes to April that's when it's slowly starting that was so crucial last year because whole February this thing was shaking like crazy so people were like ah I better go somewhere else right uh, maybe to Naples because they didn't know that there is this super volcano and the thing is we knew that in the area where we have that earthquake, they have found that land is rising there. So something is making the ground swell, which is usually magma rising, fluids rising. So now we have that earthquake there. Of course, rocks are breaking. If you bury a balloon underground and then start blowing it up, it's rising, right? So I would say, guys, let's stay on this. I will monitor it for you. I hope you liked it. I hope you did press the like and hype button, guys. I hope you see, I see you in the next one because I have chosen some interesting videos for you here in the end screen. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.